Hi everybody, this is Susie, and welcome to another Treasures Deluxe video on behalf of Treasures Deluxe Etsy Shop. The address for the store is www.etsy.com slash shop slash Treasures Deluxe. I'm so excited to share this design team project with you today. And um, what I had uh, decided to create because I had some beautiful white lace trim was to make a bridal heart from scratch and that's exactly what I did. So I'm just going to back up and show you um, the heart that I have created. It's quite large. Um, it is absolutely beautiful in person and I'm only hoping that the pictures and the video does it some justice. Um, what I had done here was I made a very large heart out of uh, white cotton fabric that I purchased at my local fabric store. And um, I'm just going to zoom up quickly over here so that I can explain to you what I've done. Um, Treasures Deluxe has many beautiful laces, doilies, large uh, fabric type flowers, velvet flowers, organzas, and um, I really wanted to use a little bit more than just uh, the one um, lace that I was uh, going to be using on my project. So after hand sewing the uh, heart and stuffing it, I took one of the fabric doilies, which is right here, and I sewed the fabric doily onto the cotton fabric. And then um, it was I wanted to kind of uh, change up the idea of the actual um, flowers. Uh, from Treasures Deluxe, and I think they're they're very beautiful, and they were a lot of fun to work with. And the flowers that you get uh, that look like this here, um, what I had done with that was I had taken. I'm just gonna back away here. I had taken the flower part, and if you see right there, there are several flowers, and I believe it's four of them. Uh, that you get when you separate the flowers, which you get the tiny little piece in the center that has, um, it's like a tiny little bud that has the rhinestone that's on it, and the flower comes already with all of the rhinestones on the flower. And what I had done there, uh, by separating each one of them, I pulled off the back which it's really a great idea for you ladies who want to change up the flower. So you keep buying the same flower, only you design it in different ways. And because the flower has a velvety feel, it really gives it a nice shimmer against your project, which, mind you, these you can, I haven't tried it yet, but you can most definitely um, either paint these or spray them up lightly with some kind of glimmer mist spray that you may have in your stash. Um, I am going to try that going forward, but for this project, everything was white on white. And separating the flowers, I had one, two, what is that? Let me just count that really quickly so you'll know. One, two, three, four. You get um, five petals. Five, uh, three, um, three-sided petals. A lot of fun to work with on that. Once I did that, it really like opened up a whole other window for me as far as like, you know, um, designing uh, the, uh, the heart. So I laid out all of the uh, three-sided petals here on, on an angle on the other side of the doily, giving it such a really beautiful and different kind of of look as you can certainly see uh, from the heart itself and I'm just gonna pick this up a little bit hoping that that's just a little bit better on the video so you can see it yeah and you know zooming up on the flower you can see how pretty that looks and what I had done was because when you separate the flowers you're you have a hole in the center from the stem uh, from the original stem so I put some of my own rhinestones in the center uh, to, to get rid of the hole and all around I just scattered um, a couple of beautiful white pearls from my stash and then also had uh, put some pearls on the uh, doily as well by hand. Um, and what you see right there is a very old vintage shoe clip. I have another one like that for a pair of shoes. 
And um, over here is uh, a, a Queen Anne pin with uh, a very pretty silver uh, rhinestone bean cap at the top. Uh, and uh, it's it's a, a pin. It's not glued in, uh, but it's it's very pretty, and it does make a really nice accent on it. And around the outside, uh, so that you don't see the thread or anything like that, which you have to look close because it's all white on white, is some Chinese braid from my stash. And then from Treasurer's Deluxe, we have the beautiful lace trim that's going all around, and I would say that's got to be at least two inches. I will have everything listed in the box, uh, drop-down box below that was used from the Treasures Deluxe shop online so that you can go on over and check it out for yourself. And don't forget to let them know that Susie sent you um, for your free gift. I'm sure that's still going on. Um, and uh, to complete the heart, uh, there is, you can't see it now, but there is a, a very long piece of white seam binding from my stash that I made a loop up on top so that you can hang that. It can be used as a bridal pillow um, at the wedding. It can be used at a bridal shower. It can be just a gift for a bride or for anybody for that matter. And it's certainly, I had it on my bed. So it's large enough. I would say it's got to be at least 9 to 12 inches in the height adding the lace. Um, and at the very bottom here, I have a piece of seam binding that I tied in a bow with some strands hanging of pearls from my stash and that beautiful organza satin rose from my friend Suzette. Just absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Suzette. That's the first time. I didn't want to use any any of those because Suzette is from Australia, and it meant a lot to me that she sent me some goodies at some point in time, and I wanted to cherish those by saving them. And I thought that if I used the flower at the very bottom of that, uh, that it would accent it and just look absolutely gorgeous, and it did. It is a beautiful project, a beautiful gift. I'm keeping this. <laughs> I just absolutely adore it, and I adore the laces from Treasure Deluxe. The variety of laces are incredible, and please note to try and go back every few days or every day because there is constantly um, having the the uh, inventory updated. Uh, Lucy has a beautiful selection, and she is adding all of the time uh, new and different laces that you really have not seen. Uh, I haven't seen some of the things that are on her side. I haven't seen them anywhere, uh, but really, really beautiful. Again, it is www.etsy.com slash shop slash treasures deluxe. I will list all of the links to the store, the item numbers below in the drop-down box, along with the other channels on Facebook and on YouTube so that you can see the other designers in the group as well as myself along with my channels. So again, I thank you so much for stopping by today to check out my third project for uh, Treasures Deluxe. I just absolutely adore the lace. I'm zooming up again so that you can see. It does not come gathered like that. It comes straight so it's actually up to you if you want to gather the lace or you want to use it straight on your project. I used the entire piece that was sent to me in my design team package and I just made it and I believe it was one yard. I wanted to ruffle it up a little bit more but I needed to go with what I had and it was actually enough to finish off the entire heart pillow. So again, thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you again and I appreciate all of your comments in advance. Have a great day. Bye.